So the Chancellor, Jeremy Hunt, has just finished his budget. What happened? Was it any good? Well, it was a tricky one because the Chancellor was trying to tread a fine line between delivering what the country needs and can afford versus an increasingly desperate attempt to get voters on side before a general election. The result, in my opinion, was a budget that was long in length, but short in anything much to cheer, especially for those of us in the property market or for first time buyers looking for assistance. Considering how important the housing market is, it was surprising that there were no real major announcements. First of all, he turned to inflation. The good news there is that they do expect that inflation will fall below the 2% target in a few months, not as long as a year. So that is good news. Also, to help reduce inflation, alcohol duty has been frozen. So that's extended until February 2025. And also fuel duty is frozen for another 12 months. In terms of growth forecasts, the Office of Budget Responsibility is predicting insipid growth, 0.8% in 2024, 1.9% in 2025. So what other things has he announced? Well, most of them were trailed in the media with the various leaks. So and he pretty much just revealed all of what we sort of knew. There's a new British ISA where you can invest tax-free an additional £5,000 on top of current limits as long as that is invested into UK equities. Where property is concerned, there's not much there. Although he has abolished the furnished holiday letting regime. So Basically, that's trying to dissuade people from buying holiday lets and free up properties in touristy areas. Stamp duty relief for people who purchase more than one dwelling in a single transaction has been cancelled as well. As well, So basically trying to stop people from buying more than one properties. Um, interestingly, it has reduced the higher rate of property, property capital gains tax from 28% to 24% in a Laffer curve type moment to try and bring in more revenue. And then there was a policy that Labour has been touting around non-DOMs and he's nicked it. The current regime has been abolished, but he has replaced it with a new scheme. So for non-DOMs coming into the country, there's no tax on their overseas earnings for four years then it's the same as normal residents. So a bit of a change there, and hopefully that'll, he's hoping that'll uh, not dissuade people from coming into the UK, but raise some money at the same time. The big thing, as we all expected, from the 6th of April, employee national insurance will be cut from 10% to 8%. So another 2% cut, and that's it. That was expected. Yes, it will help some people in terms of affordability because in the affordability calculators from lenders, they'll be able to borrow that tiny bit more, maybe a couple of grand more, but not much there for property people. Um, and if I'm honest, a bit of a damp squib and will leave a lot of people scratching their heads. Did he do enough? I don't think so, but we'll see come the election.